Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising. Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 10th to September 16, 2018. And while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you that this is a general reading for Pisces star sign, which means that this is not your personal reading. And uh, I will explain the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but to make sense of them uh, and to align them to your personal situation, false to you. Now, if you want me to do that for you, then you go for a personal reading. And to do so, you have to go to my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you will find a full list of my services as well as the pricings of them. And as soon as you make your purchase, we're going to schedule a appropriate time for your reading. So that being said, going to the tarot spread first. Now we do have a four card spread or a four position spread. The first position is regarding the topic of your week Pisces. Second position is about the core of the situation. Third position is about the challenges that you have to overcome. And the last position here, it is a about the guidance or the best possible course of action. So uh, let's see what you got. You do have the star card, a very promising week. It is what comes in your way because the star card is about hope, is about unfolding love, is about thing that you are looking forward to, which is about to happen. But the star card, the very, the most positive property of this card, it is about ending of a turmoil. So it's kind of like you will. Uh, kind of gather up your life you know you will pick up your life and you will put it straight in track again and probably things are going to develop mm, very favorably on your behalf so as we said in folding love as well you know you can expect to receive that from uh from the people you are surrounding yourself with you know from your girlfriend or from your boyfriend and in general from your family etc etc so that card as well speak for a unconditional support uh for your development should i say that way or for um for your undertakings as well should you need one but it is very important when we do have the star card to face um, the world and the future that awaits you open and innocent which means that should you have any disputes should you have any disagreements right now or any unresolved issues that can be resolved you know you have to attend into them and you need to kind of like settle them down because it's very important that you don't have a a burdens from the past accompanying you into the future so just to give you a, a couple of examples here career wise that card could express is the very start of a project which is going to uh, consolidate uh, your position at your job for a quite a long time or relationship wise that could be the hit you have a, you have a waiting for congratulations you have the opportunity to make a, a very solid long lasting relationship or if in, a, in an existing relationship that card points that you are going to uh, kind of like realize how much your partner loves you how you how much you love them and based on that prerequisite uh, you will realize that this is going to be a long lasting one and the core of that situation here is that we do have justice card so the justice card is about uh, how can i place it it's about priorities but it's also about the results uh, the appropriate results and what i mean here is is that uh as much as you invest in, that much is what you are getting out. So uh, basically uh, what this card points is that that kind of support here, this new bright future that awaits you in this week, these happy circumstances, events, etc, etc, are results of your actions. So you have worked for it and you kind of deserve that to happen. And most likely the work is that you have uh, rearranged your priorities here. Maybe you have um, kind of like uh, figured out that uh, what you are doing in your daily routine or the way you are doing things in your daily routine is not exactly the optimal way that one thing can be done. Therefore, you have um, 
rearrange certain approaches, you have rearranged certain actions, you know, or you have rearranged certain activities as well, putting one in front of other that was in the back seat until right now. And uh, that's why people were seeing in you that you are um, determined to make a change, you know, to make a change in your life, to become a better person. It's all about that, to become a, a better person. And these people now will give you their support and the results will soon follow. And as I said, the results are going to be very, very happy. Now, just on the very superficial meaning here is that this, these cards are pointing a, a favorable outcome of a justice case so if you do uh, have a divorce going on you know if you do have a custody uh, going on or in general you are uh, being prosecuted then you can expect that the truth is going to be revealed all right it's not about you here we're talking about the truth Pisces so if you have been in just full then you will get what you deserve you know uh, but it's uh, it still is going to be in a way very milder so it's going to be a favorable for you but i do believe here having these cards that you in case you are uh, fighting a court case here you are not the one who were injustful all right so you can expect that the court case is going to be uh, in your favor anyway uh, these cards are pointing that you are on the right track with your uh, priorities with your work with your uh, with your relationship or basically the efforts you are giving toward these uh, toward these fields in your life and you have to continue on doing it that way I mean the initiation of the change of the personal change that you have anticipated uh, recently it is the right it was the right choice and you have to move on forward with it being accountable toward yourself and then the, the next card is going to be the challenges that you have to overcome here we do have the two of wands which is the aggression of seizing the um, the benefits and not the benefits but the rewards of that favorable time straight away so that is a, a lack of patience here and you need to have that patience you need to allow the star card to develop because the star card even though is an air sign and the air and fire um, and air and fire elements are very fast in development the star card is rather focused more on the distant future right so uh, what we have this week with you is just the father laying down the foundation of the full development the full manifestation of the star card here all right which takes place into the distant future all right so when I think about it, that could be a marriage proposal, you know, but you can be postponed with a certain condition saying that, for example, we first need to kind of secure ourselves well enough to provide and then we can marry. All right. And that's why you have to start making certain rearrangements of your priorities and you need to have the patience to do so. You cannot do that over one night. As well, it could be, I gave that into a previous uh, star sign, it could be realization that you need a, a body change, all right? That could be also a thing, but here, apart from the, uh, from the other uh, star sign where they will be more, much more patient, you know, and they will have m results much faster. Here with you, the results will be rather more delayed, but they will be long lasting for you. It's guaranteed that once you reach that particular milestone, then um, it will be very difficult for you to ruin what you have achieved. It is just you need to give it a time, either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship. And then we do have the guidance how you should proceed forward here. With the Eight of Pentacles, obviously this involves a hard work because what the guy does here, it's coins or rather the guy is making profits of its hard work. I mean, as you can see, the guy doesn't, uh, does not slack. But as well, this card, it, it, it is displayed in many tarot decks as a uh, blacksmith. And the first thing that you can see here, it's kind of like, this is the first... Um, the first thought that comes into your mind or in my mind at least when I see that card of a blacksmith and what is the process of a blacksmith I mean how the blacksmith shape the metal how the blacksmith it kind of reach to the final product 
by putting the metal into a fire and water. So it's, it's about going through the ups and downs, you know, without complaining, knowing that these ups and downs, going through them is necessary in order to reach, to make a, a final product. And that kind of involves as well a little bit of a stress. Also points to a patience because the Eight of Pentacles is very slowly developing card. First thing that you need to do here is uh, kind of like shape your skills. I mean, you need to kind of develop your skills to a point that you can uh, have what you want the way you want it, all right? And therefore, that may not exclude you going into a couple therapy if this is about your uh, personal relationship, signing for additional courses if it is about your career, you know, learning additional language uh, that we're talking about, or just reading additional books so you can kind of like sprawl your personal knowledge and also skills. But the Eight of Pentacles, it's also about creating creating plans guys I mean you have to plan big for the future and when the plans are done then uh, you need to with slow steady step by being very meticulous regarding the minor details start executing them so that was the tarot reading for uh, you Pisces for the upcoming week which is going to regard a laying down of foundations for a, a long distant, very bright future that awaits you regarding a certain field in your life. And now let's see what the Lenormand has to say, uh, which is going to be an event happening that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. All right. So the first card that we do have is the woman or the de uh, or the lady that regards to a woman. The second card is about the tree, which is uh, which stands for roots. It stands for longevity. It stands for health as well. And then we do have the star, which is a about a a long way. So. Um, <clears throat> I need one more card here. This is going to be the cross and that will be a, a woman offering you or kind of like reaching up to a, a very stable and uh, however very long path because the star is about guidance here how to overcome a certain sadness, suffering or in general blockage in life and that will happen through a, a woman that most likely it is a, a very close person to you having the three it could be a, a childhood friend as well you know someone that you like to spend time with <clears throat> all right but generally with this person you are going to find a a way through i mean you are going to find the the appropriate approach toward the issues that are causing you suffering, that are causing you despondency, which are causing you um, difficulties in general. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly uh, Tarot and Lenormand reading for um, September 10th to September 16th, 2018. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope you liked it and I hope as well that you can make sense of them and you can align them to your uh, personal situation because again this is a, a general reading for the star sign of Pisces this is not your personal reading and uh, it falls to you to make sense of the cards and to make sense uh, and to align them to your situation uh, based on my explanations of the cards and their synergy. If you want me to do that for you, I mean to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation, you go to, for a personal reading and to do so all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video and as soon as you make a purchase from there we are going to schedule an appropriate time for your reading. So uh, that being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.